Thanks Selfrica University for sponsoring this video. It's your man Alex, and I know cutting your own hair is not an easy thing to do. It's something that's brand new to the world as of 2020, right? A lot of people didn't know what cutting their own hair was up until COVID came. I was one of those people on YouTube that kind of showed everyone that cutting your own hair is humanly possible and uh, it's something that's actually achievable and most people shouldn't be afraid to try it. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys five reasons why you should start cutting your own hair instead of going to the barbershop. The first reason and most important reason is that you save your time. All of us living on this planet, we have 24 hours in a day. Everyone's at the same amount of hours, right? Rich people have 24 hours, poor people People have 24 hours. We all have 24 hours in a day, but it's what we do with those 24 hours that really make an impact on whether we're successful or not so successful. Time equals money. Having more time back for yourself is very important. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I pretty much cut my hair in under 30 minutes. I've got numerous 10 minute haircut challenges. I'm a full length video, 30 minutes or so, cutting my own hair. It's highly doable to cut your own hair in under one hour. And I've done videos as well where I've gone through like the detailed breakdown of going to the barbershop versus cutting your own hair. And you do actually save one hour every single time you cut your own hair versus going to the barbershop. And let's not forget that I give myself very, very difficult haircuts. Skin fades, regular fades, low fades, mid fades, high fades. These haircuts are advanced haircuts and they take longer than a normal regular haircut. So the fact that I can give myself a fade in under 30 minutes kind of just proves that even if you just give yourself a basic haircut, like a buzz cut or like a one guard on the side and then like a little bit of touch up with scissor work on top, you can cut your hair in less than 30 minutes to 40 minutes and be done with it for at least one or two weeks. So every single time you cut your own hair, you're gonna be saving at least one hour every single single haircut that you can then, you can use that one hour that you gain by cutting your own hair to then either work more to make more money or just have it as extra time for leisure time. The second reason why you should start cutting your own hair is because you will save legit money. And I know a lot of people are always in my comments like, Alex, how are you saving one to $3,000 per year? How is this possible? That's a complete BS, it's not true. And I've broken this down in at least three videos more recently towards the end of 2022. I've broken this down for you so you can kind of gauge the exact detail of how cutting your own hair versus going to the barbershop, where do you save money and how do you save money? If you wanna check out those videos, I'll leave them in the self haircut playlist linked in the card section above. But let's just say you're taking my word for it and you can actually save one to $3,000 every single year by cutting your own hair. Or let's also add this as well. Not only can you cut your own hair, let's say your father, you've got two, three children, right? You can cut their hair on top of your hair. So not only are you saving money by cutting your hair, you're also saving money by cutting your children's hair. One, two, three heads right there, bam. That alone is thousands of dollars every single year. And remember, this is just one year. You could be cutting your own hair and cutting your children's hair for five, 10, 15, 20 years down the road and that's thousands upon thousands of dollars in savings just by learning a really simple concept of cutting hair with clippers and scissors, especially if you're watching my videos on YouTube here for free. Now, whether you're single or whether you're in a relationship, one to $3,000 is a lot of money in today's world, especially because nowadays only 3% of all American households are saving any money. So not only could you go traveling or buy a car or buy an investment property or invest in some type of stock, you can use this money to buy or invest or save however you'd like. But the reason why this is so important is because having the money in the first place at least gives you the opportunity to have these options like buying a house or buying a car or investing in property or investing in stocks. If you don't have the one to $3,000 to begin with because you're spending it on going to barbershops, then you can't invest or save how you'd like. So I think these numbers here are kind of overlooked by a lot of people. And if you really dial back and watch the videos where I go into detail of how this actually makes sense, you'll start to realize that the more money you save, the better financially you're going to end up being. I think I've got a problem. I've recently noticed that, I guess it's because I have light eyes that you know having these really 
really bright lights when I make these videos, it just gives me massive headaches afterwards, right? And so having sunglasses definitely helps. And I apologize in advance for not being able to give you eye contact, but I need to put the sunglasses on in order to continue with the video because my head's starting to hurt with all the lights. To continue, the third reason why you should start cutting your own hair is because it allows you flexibility with your schedule. Now, a lot of us are single or we work 12 hours a day or we're parents and we've got children and we've got all these different sporting events and events going on. And it's hard to kind of calculate when we can do things especially getting a haircut. So the fact that I can go in at any given hour of the day, choose, let's say two o'clock today. Oh, I can't do it today because this thing just came up. Well, tomorrow I'm free between three and four. Boom, I'll cut my hair during three and four tomorrow. So the fact that I have the option to be flexible with when I cut my hair, because all I have to do is walk five steps down the hall to my bathroom, grab my stuff, and start cutting my hair in less than 30 seconds. So there's no need to stress or worry about calling up the barber or going through their apps to make an appointment. And then you still end up going to the barbershop and having to wait 30 minutes because they're just so unorganized. So let's take a step back and let's add some more flexibility to your schedule by learning this awesome skill set, which is cutting your own hair to not only save you time, but save you money, but also give you flexibility with that time. Before we continue with the video, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Self Haircut University. The goal of SHU is to help you overcome your self haircut fears and become an expert self hair cutter in less than six months. Learning this skill set will save you one to $3,000 per year for the rest of your life. Because we all know barbershops today are getting more and more expensive and taking up too much of our meaningful time. Within 72 hours of joining SHU, I will personally be hosting a coaching call with you directly to discuss a plan of action to get you started on the right track. With over 100,000 followers across all platforms, video testimonials, and 14 years of self haircut experience, there's no better person with more passion than myself to guide you through this self haircut journey. To get started before the next price increase, go to selfhaircutuniversity.com or click the first link in the description to start today. Thank you, Self Haircut University, for sponsoring this video. So I already mentioned number four a little bit earlier in the video, but to kind of elaborate on reason number four of why you should start cutting your own hair, cutting your family's hair, cutting your children's hair, cutting, let's say cousins or friends even so that everybody can save time so that everybody can save money by not having to go to the barbershop. It just kind of creates a really cool and unique community feel where you're the guy who's going to be able to cut everyone's hair so that all of you guys can save money all of you guys can save time. And ultimately, every single person that's thus getting a free haircut is now saving one to $3,000 per year. So if there's you and you got two children, let's say your uncle or your cousin, or maybe your friends next door, let's say you cut all of these guys for free, you're helping everybody within your close tight knit community save one to $3,000 per year. And even if you aren't making money necessarily during that time when you're cutting other people's hair, I think at least in a pride sense, it will feel really good and you can kind Kind of see it as volunteer hours and helping the local community. So cutting your own hair can help you cut your own hair. It can help you cut your family's hair. It can help cut your children's hair, cousins, friends. So to sum everything up, the fifth reason why you should start cutting your own hair is because not only will you save one to $3,000 per year, but you can be saving one to $3,000 per year for the rest of your life. For example, I'm 27 years old, 27, born in 1995. I've been cutting my own hair since I was 13 years old. So for the past 14 years, I've been cutting my own hair and saving one to $3,000 every single year. Not only that, I've also been cutting both of my brother's hair and my father's hair and all of my friends that lived in my neighborhood growing up. So I don't just speak of hypotheticals, I actually speak from my personal experience growing up. So right now, like I said, I'm 27 years old and if I'm 50 years old, 50, 55, 60 even, and I still have a full head of hair, well, guess who's gonna be cutting my hair at 50, 55, 60 years old, right? 30 years down the line, I'm still gonna be cutting my own hair for free 30 years down the road on top of the 14 years prior. So that's 45 years nearly of me cutting my own hair and saving thousands of dollars every single year by just learning such a simple skill set, which is cutting your own hair. I think one of the big problems with cutting your own hair and the stigma behind it is that people fail to see the long term with self haircuts. They just see the short term like, oh, I'm gonna mess up. It's too difficult. You look at me giving myself skin fades and you're like, oh, I can't do that. But you're not really thinking that 
that's a really difficult haircut and there's a lot easier haircuts to do to start out. You just wanna copy your barber's haircuts that he gives you or she gives you off the bat and not really put in the time to put in the framework and the background work in order to get things started with cutting your own hair. So a lot of people wanna to jump to the finished product without actually doing the beginner and intermediate work. So I'm here to tell you that this is a long-term game, right? Cutting your own hair is a long-term game. This isn't something that's gonna happen overnight in a few weeks, right? It's gonna take you six months. It's gonna take you 12 months. It all depends on your ability to understand how everything works. But I'm telling you from personal experience, from 14 years of personal experience, cutting your own hair is 100% worth it. And if you're willing to take minor risks here and there and put a clipper in your hand and put scissors in your hand and go to town and cut a little bit here and there and progressively get a little bit better as the weeks go on, then you're gonna be fine. The last thing you should be doing is caring about what other people think about you and really just focus on your goals and what actually matters to you. Would one to $3,000 extra per year for you do for you? Would that mean a lot for you? Would it help your financial situation? Or does one to $3,000 not mean anything to you and you can continue going to barbershop and spending that money like that. So you guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Sorry I had to bust out the shades. These lights are really, really powerful. I've got light eyes and it's really sensitive. So it's, it's, it's really tough sometimes. But I have them off now and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you found some type of value, definitely leave a like and share this video with one of your friends. Also, don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below and click on the post notifications as well to never miss a new weekly video. And also, if you haven't already, check out Self Haircut University which is a paid program that I offer teaching you guys how to cut your own hair from beginning to advanced with weekly calls, private live streams, 120 plus lectures, and it's ultimately just a massive step up from the content that I have here on my YouTube channel. But you guys, I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.